Hello everybody! Today I'm going to teach you on how to play the flute or the straight flute. Straight flute because of the pit position on how we play it. There is also actually one that we call side, side winder. The position on how to play it is sideward. So, kapag, kapag um, straight flute, so we play it like this, and kapag sidewinder, we play it like this. Because the sound hole is located uh, on the a side of the flute. Okay? So, before I start the tutorial, let me point out to you the different parts of the straight flute. So, we begin the part where we position our mouth. So, this is what we call the mouth piece. Okay, so there's a little hole on the bamboo flute. So, this is the mouth piece. This is where we position our lips. Okay, uh, we do not uh, enter or we do not... Uh, place this fully on our mouth. Our upper lip should only be positioned on the middle of this mouthpiece and the lower lip below, just below the little hole on this mouthpiece. Okay, so we also have the sound hole. It's a little hole just beneath the mouthpiece. So this is the mouthpiece and then there's a hole uh, beneath which we call the sound hole. If this is covered, no sound will come out. Okay, so if uh, something will block this sound hole, then there will be no sound that will come out. And then the third are the finger holes or what we call the key holes. Finger holes because this is where we position our fingers and uh, we also call it key holes because the notes or keys of uh, the notes are being uh, played on these holes. So it will tell you what key you're going to cover or uh, not to cover. And then lastly, we have the opening hole. Okay, so if we have the mouthpiece at the end and then we also have the opening end or actually um, at first I didn't know what uh, this is for but I realized uh, because the other flutes especially the nickel plated or the plastic flutes or the fiberglass flutes uh, they use it for cleaning the flute so I think this opening end is also used uh, for us to be able to clean the flute. So these are the different parts of our flute. Again, we have the mouthpiece, the sound hole, the finger holes or key holes, and then the, the opening end. Okay? So... This time, we position our fingers on the holes, okay? First, I would like you to hold your flutes with your right hand, okay? So your right hand is on this side. My right hand is on this side. So hold it like this. And then first, okay, let's wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your fingers on your left. And then... Try to position the three fingers pointer at the uppermost hole, okay, near the mouthpiece, and then the middle finger next, and then the ring finger next. And then the thumb will hold firmly your flute, okay? So uh, your pinky, the pinky on your left hand should be free. Okay? It will always be free from touching the flute or it should be free from covering any holes. Okay? And then next, raise your right hand. The right hand should cover 
the four remaining holes, okay? So four of your fingers will cover the four holes, starting with your pointer, then middle, and then ring, and then your pinky finger, and then your thumb at the back of the flute. Both thumb, okay, will hold firmly the flute, okay? So, this time, we are ready to play the flute, okay? Okay, the next part of our lesson, or the next part of this discussion, is about the two ways on how to blow the flute, okay? So, how do we do it? We can do it softly, and we do it a little hard, okay? But not too hard because our uh, flutes or your flute will go out of tune, okay? So soft and hard, okay? So the low notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, we use soft blowing. But when we move on to the higher C, we should blow it a little hard. Okay, so this is, this is how it will sound. For middle C or low C, we just do it softly. And then when it's C2 or the higher C on the third space of the staff, Okay, so that's the way on how to play the middle C and the high C. Now that we are ready uh, and we have already positioned the fingers, let's know the keys or the notes on the flutes. If you are covering all the holes, it's C. Okay, if we are covering all the holes, it's C or middle C. And then when we remove our pinky, then it's D, okay, D. So C, covering all the holes, and when we remove it, it's D. Then if we remove the ring finger, it's E, okay? So let's repeat, covering all C, D, E. Then we remove the middle finger, it's F, okay? Again, C, D, E, F. And then removing the pointer finger, it's G. So let's see how it will sound if we are going to blow our flute playing C, D, E, F, G. So that's C, D, E, F, G. G, when all the fingers covering the holes of the flute on your right hand, C, D, E, F, G. And then when we start removing ring finger of your left hand, and then this is A, okay? Then removing the middle finger, D, and then covering everything again, C or C2. If it's hard, if you blow, if you blow it hard, then it's C2. If you blow it softly, it's C. So when uh, you're going to play all the notes, it will sound like this. Okay, so that's all for today. And I hope you're going to practice C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Or... Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do.